Yeah, I bet you Johnny Dame taking the money and, and, and doing everything that young lady Monique was talking about, taking it to the lobbyists, taking it to the community, and he's getting power and riches off black dudes that are empowering him. All he's doing is making diamonds. We running over saying, hey, man, y'all go mess with Johnny Dame. Johnny Dame buying houses. I guarantee it. He buying real estate, cryptocurrency, everything to make money and more diamonds to sell to black people. They making money off recording them dudes coming in there, spending their money. <laughs> like just off the cameras, just seeing multiple celebrities. Like you'll see, you'll see that dude Ja go in there and you'll see somebody like Rod Wave go in there. And then it's, it's viral content that they got for their own platform off, off tops of making that money. Yep. I don't understand it, man. Why we don't have no black jeweler that's the number one jeweler? Our black people are the ones buying jewelry. Why there's no number one black jeweler? Why he Asian? It's a viral dude they put in front of us. Another plant. <laughs> I don't think we like when black people make money. I really don't. Because we talk all this black talk. And we spend the most money. If we actually like black people, we would be spending that three, four trillion dollars that we spend in, uh, with somebody black. If a black woman starts selling hair, they don't go buy the hair from her. They rob her. This ain't no village, man. Oh, they said they shot him in Houston. Oh, yeah, that was a black jeweler. Damn. Mm -hmm. a, a black man can't be a jeweler. He can't be nothing to, to make it to goddamn money. Somebody going to want to hurt him. Oh, Road Life, you back or you just make, hold on, you back, bro, or you just miss and hit it? I'm back, bro. I wanted to, somebody. Uh oh. Sound Turn out. off your Wi Fi. <laughs> you your Wi Fi out, bro. Kill them. Huh? You know? Yeah, we're going to kill all our successful ones. That's what it seemed like. You know, and uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt anybody that was talking. I apologize. And, uh, you good, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same. It's like it's it's. I'm speechless at how the at the stu, at the level of stupidity that the collective stupidity, you know, with the with the Democrat Party, with everything, with everything, everything. The mirror is right there. We're looking at it. We're seeing it, but we just refuse to believe it. And. uh I'm gonna sit back here and, and I'm gonna sit backstage. I'm gonna let y'all talk because I'm 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 busy. <laughs> okay, bro. Go ahead, brother. But yeah, man. You not collective stupidity. It is. It's true. The hypocrisy is real. We don't have one black leader at nothing. Like, what what's the black leader? Do we have one black YouTuber that's the highest YouTuber, mm -hmm. male or female? No. Nope. Okay, do we have one black real estate agent that's the number one real estate agent? Hell no. Oh, okay. Do we got one black lawyer that's the top lawyer that all the black people go to? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it's bad. I'm just saying, I, I'm just trying to figure out all, all this blackity black talk that everybody keep talking about. Do we got one black restaurant that's number one, like that dude that throwing salt in people's mouth and cutting and feeding them steaks and oh, all this shit, God. dancing for them. Do we got one restaurant that's like that? Uh, nope, 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 nope. If a nigga throw some salt in your mouth, you're going to shoot him. They <laughs> <laughs> uh, let this white boy throw salt in their mouth. <laughs> man. Oh, oh, man. Drunk, make them open their mouth and pull drinks in their mouth. God, I'm looking at this shit like, what in the hell? And they they paying the black dudes to do that the uh the goofy dude that always be biting the chicken and then the yeah. buff nigga they, them type of goofy niggas yeah they love this nigga he a big dancing nigga this nigga gonna shake his ass for them people yeah we that, that's gonna help us Jesus. big nigga shaking ass dancing and smiling I you ain't trying to be divisive that. but shit that's they 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 not from here. Type do, shit. Listen, do me? we got one number one black bank? Oh, hell no. Do we got one number one airline? You know, we got Jay-Z a billionaire, P. Diddy a billionaire. Uh, I ain't counting nobody pocket. We got a lot of billionaires. 
We had Bill Cosby try to buy a network. We got any black networks. We got any black anything. That's number one. The ones that, that do try to stand on their own, them is the ones that get like me too and shit though. So is the other ones just, just hiding their hands? Just like, I'm going to just shut up and just take the money. I think they bred us to be under them. And if you try to be above them, that's why they teach these niggas books like uh, the 48 Laws of Power. Talking about never outshine the master. Definitely when I heard that. that part, I said, who the fuck is master? I don't want this shit. <laughs> my brother tried to get me to read that shit. Who the fuck is master? Yeah, I, I, fell on, I fell into that on my own. I'm like, hell no. I, I see the tricks. I see the plays. Fuck all that. I, I ain't under nobody, man. And it, it's sad to say that uh, the way you have to live is you kind of got to know that you up under them. That's how they want you to know. Yeah. And we live like that. The people that's black, that's making the most noise in the public, they know they under white folks. They talk all that tough shit, but when they get mad at black folks, it's white people that sanction whatever they allow them to do. It's white folks that cut down their page. It's white folks they calling for everything. Why I'm naming millionaires like I'm never was one? I'm still a millionaire. You don't know what you're talking about. You named billionaires. I named billionaires, man. I didn't name no millionaires. I said, I said Jay Z. Protecting group. That's different. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Shit, them niggas <laughs> got Philly. What you talking about? I might got a, a Millie. <laughs> I ain't got no Billy. Come on now. Don't put me in that great group. They in. They in a great group. Yeah, that's the that's the B word. That's the <laughs> 48 laws of power is legit to you. Some of the things in that book it may have some solid understandings and teachings, but you lost me at never outshine the master. That that lost me. Now, I don't think nobody my master but the Lord and Savior and Jesus Christ. Maybe I get in my own way because of that. Because no, there's only one master, and that's the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, if you perceived it to to want to like follow somebody else from that I, I just don't know about you because when i read this shit like i took it as oh i see how like that's how it is in the actual world type shit so i'm gonna look at these fucking 48 laws and be it like is. and go about it in real life no nigga that's not how it's going that's not how it's playing you feel me right it's it, that book is teaching you how the world is like yeah you do got to be up under somebody don't let them see you doing good now because they're gonna come fuck with your program facts and that's what they're teaching uh I, I guarantee you you'll never see a nigga try to get in the trash business these are some of the best industries in the world you'll never see a nigga try to get in the trash business you'll never see a negro try to own nothing at the port the docks new york down in florida nowhere you'll never see them try to play games like that because you're supposed to be at a certain level and if you start making money on that level you start getting into things that we don't want you in Unless you under us. Mm -hmm. You can make money with us or under us. That's how they got niggas trained. Anytime you try to go outside of that, think about it. Every time you hear these hood stories where you heard that Suge Knight and um, a couple of men allegedly tried to get together and put together a distribution company, they all everybody end up going to jail. You ain't under him. You gotta pay the piper.